Hey, this is King Tutorial here, and today um, I have a bunch of different tutorials. Um, well, not a bunch, probably just a few. Um, but I'm going to add them all together, um, and it's going to be about dual boxing in World of Warcraft. Now, um, the first thing I'm going to do, first kind of tutorial part, is to make the macros that you need in order to do um, these things. So let's get started. First of all, I'm doing my dual box different classes here, and um, I'm going to show you how to make a macro if you don't know how to do it, and um, tell you why you need these and whatever. So to get started here, you want to go to your your alternate guy. So your main guy is going to be your like you know attacker, your tank style, like you know a warrior, paladin, or whatever. Um, and then the other one's going to be usually like more ranged, um, like a mage, because that's he does mostly you know magic and stuff. Um, so anyway, first of all, what you're going to want to do is you're going to clear all your hotkeys, including these drink and food. For some reason, um, it likes to randomly, and maybe not randomly, pretty much all the time, it likes to eat whenever you actually use one of the hotkeys, um, which is really annoying. So you're going to want to remove those first, definitely. Now you want to remove all of these. Might be a fast way to do this, but I really don't know, so whatever. Now you're going to want to go to your macros. There's several ways you can do this. You can press escape and then click macros, um, or you can type slash macro, or you can click on this little thing and click macro. Okay, so anyway, now you can make a general macro, which is for your entire account, um, so that for every character will have the same macros, or you can go to your character specific macros. So I'm going to do specific. Um, it really doesn't matter. So the first one you're going to have to need, like no doubt need it, is you're going to want to have a, f you have to have a follow. So so that he'll follow the other one so you can just walk around in this one and this one will be right behind you. So you can choose an icon you like. I'll choose the eyeball and type follow. Um, now the macro command for this, in case you don't know, is slash follow. And then you press space and you type. <laughs> that's my, you know, dual box thing and activated. But okay, you type the name. So I just made some random name, which is A A O A A. So okay, and then you drag that down to your first hotkey, or you can choose one, whatever you like. But I'm gonna use first because that's what you need to do for the other one. Now this one. Now when I'm in this, I can walk around with this but he's not following so what I do is I press 1 now you need to get rid of these hotkeys too probably not oh no you don't really you don't have to just get rid of the food one so I press 1 it doesn't activate the attack because what this is saying down here um, well actually this is the wrong one so I'm going to go ahead and exit that um, and start this up okay sorry about that I had the wrong macro thing going on Okay, so now, hopefully this works. Um, okay, yeah, see, I press 1, and he starts to follow me. Um, then I move him away, he stops following me. And see, I'm on this, and when I'm pressing 1, the macro thing, or the dual box different classes, um, is telling the background window to press 1. So there it goes. Okay, so... Now, um, you're going to need an attack one, um, so that your mage, or whatever, in my case a mage, can attack from a distance while your warrior waits. So, what you're going to do, and this is the easiest way that I've found to do it, you want to go into your macros, and you want to make a new one, and you can make anything you want. And I'm going to call this spell, and hit OK. And what you're going to first want to type is slash assist. And then type your main character's name, so mine's A A O A A. And then do you can do a couple different things, but what assist means is it's going to target the same thing that your your main guy is targeting. So if on A A O A A, which is this that's kind of confusing, if I click on something, then I use this, it's going to target that also. So now you're gonna want to press enter and go and type slash cast. And then you're going to want to find your spell. Mine's Fireball, but just to show you. You want to go to Fire and whatever, and then Fireball. So you're going to type that. I'm not sure if it's case sensitive. I haven't tried, but 
just to be safe, I'll do it. Type fireball. Now just drag it down to your hotkeys, and there you go. Now you can also make one for buffs and for um, you know other things like heals and stuff. Um, but at the moment, I'm just going to make those uh, because I don't have a lot of time, and I've already used about half my time. And also, I should mention this. If you are having two accounts and you're using Recruit a Friend, which I highly encourage you to do because you can level way faster for three months, um, you're going to want to invite the other person to a group. So I'm just going to go down to Invite and Accept. Um, now, another thing you're going to want to do is set the uh, loot to Free For All. Um, this makes it so that either one of you can click on the loot and you'll loot it instead of the one that did the most damage or however the normal one works. I'm not exactly sure, you know, whatever, I don't really care. Okay, so that pretty much wraps up the whole macro part of uh, the tutorial. Now I'm going to show you the, um, the two characters that I've played for just a little bit and I'm already level 8 on both of them. I know that's not a big accomplishment or anything, but really... Um, my slash played 30 minutes, but um, that's because um, way, way over half of that, probably 20 minutes, 25 minutes of that, was um, just setting this up and trying to figure out macros and everything. So um, I'm just going to first start this off by showing the macros that I have. And they're probably not perfect, and I'm not going to really go into a lot of detail. But um, if you need me to make another macro tutorial, I'll be glad to, even though I'm not the best macro person. Anyway, so the macros I have is I have um, attack, which what I do is I do um, slash assist my other character, then I do slash cast attack, so it attacks um, the whatever the target is. Then I have buff, which is slash target um, your other character, then slash cast, and I have arcane intellect. Um, then I have follow, which is slash follow the other character. Then I have... Um, you know, buff yourself, which is target, you know, your your name, and then slash cast arcane intelligence. And then I have spell. Now, this is the only pretty major difference. I have slash assist, your other character. Then slash here's the sequence. Thing. Now, what this is going to do is each different time you use this, it's going to shoot, it's going to use a different spell. So how I have my sequence, just because I set it up, just, you know, I have frost bolt, then fireball, then fireball, then fire blast. So I have to use it four times in order for it to completely do the entire sequence. Um, and that's about all with the, um, the macros. This is not supposed to be a macro tutorial, yet I've already spent a couple minutes on macros. So anyway, now I'm just going to um, just show you basically what I just showed you, um, but with, you know, in real circumstances, well, sort of real. Um, now I'm walking and the other person's following me. And also just to let you know, I have all my spells up here because... Um, your main guy can't use these because um, they only, because of the um, dual box different classes, they only go on the background one. So just to not confuse me, I keep them up here um, so that, you know I remember just to click them. Now let's go find something to kill here. Um, okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, on this dusk bat, I'm going to press 2. Now it's going to cast Frostbolt, and I'm going to press 2 again. That's going to cast Fireball. Two again. Cast another Fireball. My other guy starts attacking. And two one more time, and it does Fire Blast. Um, now, of course, this is really easy because this is two level eights fighting a level seven. But really, we could probably go fight, you know, probably not a 20, but probably like a 15 and still win because uh, my warrior can go in and kind of tank and, you know, use some of his stuff. And then my mage can stay back a little bit and um, use spells. Um, the arrow keys in this script control your second person through your main window, which is a little confusing because of lag, but it's still cool in case you need to like, just in case you need to like stop following for just a second or something, or if you need to move in just a little bit of a position in case like you, you're not facing the right way to your target, you can just press this button and move a little bit. Um, so yeah, that's about it with um, dual boxing different classes. Now I'm going to pick it up with dual boxing with the same class. Stick around.